world's first successful transistor radio. The combination that started it all. Smaller is better. And bigger is way better. Looks good, but how about even bigger?
had our own trade show. Industry momentum, accelerating to the tune of $5 billion in annual sales, has moved us from the CES parking lot. And it's no coincidence that Sony's PlayStation introduction coincides with this development. There is significant activity underway in the marketplace, and now is the time for a definitive technology. Five billion in sales is an impressive achievement. But as we move forward, we need to look carefully at where we're headed as an industry. As an industry, we need to ask, we need to ask the questions I'll attempt to answer today. How can we expand our audience and in turn our business? How can we move beyond the current dip in the hardware cycle at 16 bit and reach our six, seven, eight, or even ten billion dollar potential? The answer, simply enough, begins with technology. We all know our business is cyclical. Advances in technology come and go about every five years, four bit, eight bit, sixteen bit. And each new technology has promoted growth in both hardware and software sales. Now, however, we're in a position to grow much, much faster. In the 16-bit past, technology certainly got us closer to achieving our creative goals, but not nearly close enough. And this is evident by the pending collapse of the 16-bit platforms, which are all witnessing much faster than anyone anticipated. Let's look at 16-bit technology for a second. Two-dimensional animated sprites have made it nearly impossible for the creative community to move beyond riddle-based puzzle-type games. Look at sports games, games where the consumer create realism. The software community certainly did its best to deliver, but it was still extremely restricted. In the movies, it would be the equivalent of directing a film where the hero could only move from side to side and the special effects consisted of a scrolling background. Imagine a rich film like the Shawshank Redemption. How compelling would it be if Tim Robbins or Morgan Freeman could only speak for 20 minutes without reducing the frame rate or without losing colors and motion? 